Hi guys, today we're making my epic potato curry with peppers and sweet corn. You're gonna love this one. Right guys, I've got a dry pan which is heating up slowly. I'm just gonna toast off my spices. I've got some whole coriander seeds, some fennel seeds, some uh, cumin seeds, some cloves, some whole black peppercorns, um, a cinnamon stick, some chili flakes, some turmeric and some salt. I'm gonna put the exact quantities in the descriptions below, but we're gonna go ahead and add some of the spices now. So cinnamon stick, cumin, fennel, peppercorns, cloves and coriander seeds all in now and chili flakes. Right, the turmeric and the salt goes in a little bit after because it's already ground. Right, let's start toasting these off. And by toasting these spices, you just get so much more flavor, the aroma straight away. Right, those are toasted, that took about 30 seconds. They're gonna go straight into my pestle mortar. Right guys, all my spices are in the pestle mortar. I'm gonna grind them down now and I'm gonna start making my curry paste. Right guys, that took about 60 seconds, about one minute of grinding. And just look at that beautiful masala which we've just created. Outstanding. Right, right, to this masala I'm gonna add my salt and my turmeric. And this is already obviously pre-ground, so it didn't need to go in first. Right, let's give that a stir in. Right, I don't know if you can see that, I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but just look at that. Outstanding. And now you can buy your, your pre-made uh, garam masalas, right, from the shops. And there's, you know what, so there's some really good ones out there, I use them all the time. But if you've got time, toast your, toast your spices and grind them yourself. It just takes things to another level. If you want like a, a curry that's gonna, you know, really like impress people, to do this step, this, this makes it. I've just added a tablespoon of mustard oil. It's gonna stir that in there. Right guys, we're gonna go ahead and add five cloves of garlic, uh, a small inch, about an inch of ginger, and that's gonna be pounded into our paste. Right, that's about 30 seconds of pounding my garlic and my ginger, and you can see how it's looking. Another 30 seconds and we'll have a nice little paste there. That's after 60 seconds of pounding, and now we're gonna add one or two more ingredients and we've got our perfect paste. Right, we're gonna go in with a heaped teaspoon of tomato puree, straight in. Just get that in there. And that just gives everything a beautiful color, brings it all together, and just gives it a tang and a slight sweetness. Right guys, there you have it. That's my perfect curry paste made in about three minutes. You're not gonna get better flavor than that. If you, can, if you take this step and take the effort and do this stage, all your curries are gonna be outstanding. This is, the, this is the secret right here. Right, let's start making our curry. Right, I've got our pan which is heating up nicely here. It's gonna add a couple of tablespoons of mustard oil. Let's let that all heat up and I'm gonna chop up some onions here and I want these onions in uh, strands, not diced. And I want them at like medium sized strands, so quite thick. Right, two onion strands in the oil. Sorry, I meant two onions cut into strands in the oil, not two, uh, not two strands. Right, get your onions in and just start giving them a quick saute. And for this curry, you want like strands of onions with still with a touch of crunch to them. You want strands of peppers with a bit of bite, with a bit of bite to them. <clears throat> it's like soft, mushy potatoes. Right guys, while my onions are just doing their thing, I'm gonna go ahead and chop my potatoes. Now, I'm leaving these whole and I'm putting them into like medium-sized cubes. If this was my mum making them, she'd make me peel these potatoes. Uh, but I like the texture and the nutrition and the flavor of the skin, so I've just washed them and I'm putting in three medium-sized potatoes. Right, potatoes are chopped and they'll go in a bit later. Let's check on our saute. Brilliant, this is coming along. Right, I'm gonna add a touch of salt now, just to get these onions going. Help them release some of that moisture and just so they get ready for my paste. Right guys, these onions have been sauteing for about five minutes, right? We're ready to go in with our curry paste. And we're just gonna go straight in. That curry paste is just packed with so much flavor. All those spices, and we're just gonna let that cook out. Curry paste is just gonna infuse all of its flavors and aromas into those onions, and that's gonna create the best base of a curry you can ever get. Okay, that curry paste is really starting to cook out now. It's looking beautiful. Another five minutes and we're going with our tomatoes. Okay, so if you have a good look at this, our curry paste is cooked out, our onions have softened, this is now ready for our tomatoes. So you can use loads of fresh tomatoes if you wanted to, but I'm, I haven't got time for that right now, so I'm just gonna use a can of chopped tomatoes, which is gonna go straight in. Let's go ahead and give these a nice stir. 
Now just look at that sauce there. Look at that gravy there. Looks outstanding. Right, I'm just going to let this come to the boil just slightly before I add the rest of my ingredients. Okay, that looks perfect. We're ready to go in with our potatoes and our red peppers. So three potatoes go straight into your curry mix here and red peppers at the same time and just give these a beautiful stir. And now those red peppers are going to release a lot of water and that's going to be great for our potatoes. Perfect, this looks brilliant. Let's go ahead and add one, sorry, half a cup of water and that's cold water and that's just going to cool everything down and then we'll be ready to bring everything back up to the heat and let it cook out for about 15 minutes until those potatoes are nice and soft and those peppers are nice and sweet. If you wanted a more wet curry, like a lot more gravy in it, you could just add more water at this stage. I like mine a little bit dry. Right, we're going to bring this up to a simmer and just let it do its thing on a low heat for about 15-20 minutes. Right guys, my curry's come up to a gentle simmer. We're just going to put the lid on, reduce the heat and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Right, it's been about five minutes. Let's check this baby out. Looking good. That sauce is looking amazing. Let's give this a beautiful stir. Wonderful. Let's pop that lid back on and we'll check this again in another five to ten minutes. Right, we've been simmering for about a further ten minutes. Let's see how this is coming along. Oh, that looks lovely. And you can see the potatoes are really soaked up a lot of that curry, that flavour. So now I'm not going to pop the lid back on now. I'm just going to let this simmer down and let that gravy just tighten up. Let that curry just get nice and tight. Okay, our curry's tightening up nicely now. We're ready to go in with our sweet corn. And this is just canned sweet corn, which I've drained. It's going to go straight in. Just give that a nice stir. And those potatoes are nicely cooked, and I'm just letting them soften just a touch more. And letting that curry sauce just thicken up just a touch more. And then we're ready to go. And as that sauce thickens up and that moisture reduces out of the curry, it just intensifies in flavour. And that's exactly what you want. Right, this is absolutely perfect. This is exactly what you want. This is tightened up beautifully. The potatoes are cooked. Those peppers are nice and sweet. And the sweet corn is in. Right, I'm taking this off the heat. Brilliant. And now that it's off the heat, I'm going to add my uh, coriander. Right, we've got some nice fresh coriander here, which I'm just going to roll up into a bunch. And we're just going to go nice fine chop. Stems and all. Wonderful. Right, let's plate up. Beautiful. This curry's outstanding, man. So good. Just the colours. Right, and that's my perfect potato curry with peppers and sweet corn. Outstanding vegetarian dish. Right, guys, there you have it. This is my perfect potato curry with red peppers and sweet corn. Outstanding vegetarian dish. I'm going to go ahead and do the taste test, but before I do, I'd just like to say, guys, if you're enjoying my videos, if you like my content, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want me to try a specific dish, put it in the comments below and I'll try my best. We're releasing videos seven days a week, so show us some love. Right, let's get stuck in. Right, let's get stuck in. Right, I'm going to go for some potato. Make sure you get a bit of everything. Potatoes, peppers, sweet corn, spices. Outstanding. This is so good. I just don't even need rice or anything. It's perfect as it is. Mm. Guys, this dish is perfect on every level. It's thrifty, it's vegetarian, it's easy, it's packed with flavor, it's so well balanced. I love this. I'm so happy with this dish. Guys, this isn't just delicious, this is Sunny's effing delicious. Beautiful. So happy with that.